the mini clubman concept yeah you can say it's it's a new class for mini it's introducing a new class for mini um, this car has grown in size in width it's about more than 17 centimeters wider which just generates more functional and more spacious car and um, design wise we also would um, would like to well, we see this as on a higher level due towards um, yeah, quality interior finish but also form language wise we want to push forward to bring a yeah, pure and very clean form, form language which you see in these big elliptic elements on the dashboard on the center console and on the door theme known mini themes but really redesigned reinvented um, to create a completely new atmosphere and yeah it's it's more mature it's uh, still fashionable it's somehow playful in its way in a different way maybe we do it in the in the hatch and yeah that's why i say it's creating a new class for me um, in fact it's it's for us showing the path where a clubman could go. Yeah, of course, um, no mini without um, a center instrum instrument, an interpretation um, of the center instrument. I think it's, that's the look of the car, uh, of mini interiors. It's, um, it's very unique and um, I love to play up, uh, uh, with that and to bring it to the future, to modernity. And what we see here is a very clean, tidied up, precise, round screen, um, also showing um, yeah, a perspective of user interface graphically could go from, from our side. Um, we have instrument cluster on the steering column, speedometer, um, I call it double eye, yeah, so it's not a single eye, it's a double eye, which shows also this cleanness and yeah, still um, mininess in there. Yeah? It's uh, not a contradiction being clean and precise and, and um, on the other hand playful and uh, stylish and cool. So as, as we have this big elliptical generous shape with um, black leather, the graphic facials, a white ceramic feature uh, finish and what I really love is this blue wood um, which is really enclosing the whole dash, uh, dashboard in a yeah, nice quality and um, yeah, cool way. My favorite um, yeah, in this area is the tweed and uh, the sun shields with this uh, black leather, uh, red uh, leather um, inserts and of course we also have toggle switches for the roof openings and a console which is floating over this tweed um, ceiling. Yeah, designing the seats we are always inspired from yeah, classic mini race seats like a shell and um, we push forward um, in this car to create a really sophisticated and luxury feeling. We have a blue notebook uh, leather, um, a nice interpretation of uh, stitching and if you have a look on the rear seat we have a five seater but with really nicely done and um, really spacious um, back seats. Yeah, inspiration we get it of course from everywhere, but especially at this car I think it was about creating these, um, these, uh, this strong shape and high emotional shape by simplifying on the same on the same way it was yeah, being inspired by fashion. Fashion, you will find attitudes, you will find fashion materials, um, the way to do it. Um, it's like um, like you have a cool uncle from somewhere foreign country coming to you, your little son, and this was a little bit inspiration what such a person could give to to, to a family if he's yeah like a we call it cool uncle. Yeah, you can see sustainability from different perspectives. Yeah, it's about recycling, but it's also about uh, a design which lasts long and um, keeps up the brand and um, yeah. 
later gives the customer a car which is not um, getting too old too fast. So it's also from, from the geometric designing side um, something um, very important. Um, yeah, designing an icon. It's under high focus. It's very important and I think technology wise we make in kind of three big steps at the moment and Mini has to be there upfront of course. It's a car, it's a communicative car, it's a brand, fits very well to that and that's why we we um, provide like in the, in the, in the new Mini um, we just introduced a high level of connectivity and also for this car we are thinking about how could the path go about connectivity and it's all about the seamless transition from having my devices being connected outside the car getting this in the car uh, without any problems um, just I'm there I'm on I'm connected that's something very important for us and um, yeah, we're working on that and you see this on the on the car about yeah having a fully linked um, user interface be connected with your devices and uh, also with a chance to, to send up data and um, connect your like, private life uh, with the car.